So as some of you guys might know, I have been living in Guam now over a year. And there's one thing still to this day that still annoys the hell out of me about living here. It's something that you can deal with, you know, with a little bit of uh, work around, I guess. That is here. Huh? It's just a pair of shoes, sneakers, footwear, whatever you want to call it, right? Depending on what you do, finding the proper footwear can be difficult and very expensive. So let me break this down. Uh, here on Guam, there are many places where you can buy footwear. Uh, the main places are Micronesia Mall and then GPO, which is Guam Premier Outlets. And is there anywhere else? There's probably some little places here and there that I don't go to, but these are the two main places that I buy shoes from. So for me, there are many different types of footwear that I enjoy wearing. Um, there's many places here where I can buy shoes from and I am comfortable buying shoes from there. And with that said, I want to take you guys on a little trip around Guam here to the Ross, to the place and show you why us skateboarders or you know people here depend on Ross so much for footwear. Of course, depend on the store for other things, but you can get a lot of good footwear for a very affordable price. But there's one caveat to that. So here I am in Ross, size nine, nine, nine and a half. This is kind of the row that I usually look for my shoes from. As you can see, fully stocked here at the Ross. So I need to see if I can find something that will be good for my size, my fit and comfort level for skating. Let's see. See, they got these like courts, uh, Adidas courts, I think they're called. Yeah, VL Court 3.0 and the price is $39.99. Now I actually have these. See, one thing is they're always selling Vans slip-ons. Now, if you like to wear slip-ons, these are actually pretty cool and they're pretty affordable. Uh, $32.99, but honestly, uh, not good for skating, especially for me. Some people can skate in them, but those are more of just wearing around. And then as you'll see, sometimes they'll sell other types of Vans like these. These are some sort of uh, waffle cup, like old school, uh, ultra cush sole but also a little too thin for me to be skating. So they do look nice in $34.99, like it's a pretty good deal. And so the other thing is sometimes they'll sell shoes like these. These are Dockers, just like some regular wearing shoes. They look like they would be good for skating. Maybe people have tried, but honestly, sometimes the soles of these shoes aren't so good. Um, it has like a, I don't know, a felt or a mossy feeling to the sole, which is not very grippy. So I wouldn't give those a go but they do look like, oh, maybe there's some Vans until you pull them out and then you realize they're Dockers. But as I'm seeing here for my size, nine and a half and nines, there's no Nikes like sometimes you can find. There's not a whole lot of Vans to be honest, at least the skatable Vans that I'd wear. But you will find true old schools like these here at Ross. And you know, these are actually pretty good for skating, but again, they're too thin for my feet. These are $34.99. I prefer something with a pop cush insole which you will see the pop cushion insoles here uh, with certain shoes, like here again. This is uh, old schools, size nine, good size. Something like this. This is size 10. These actually might be decent for skating, but they're half size too big for me. Um, but those would actually be decent. I would give them a go. Now, the one thing I always make sure I do is when I come to these aisles, you see 10 and a half, you have to really check the shoes specifically because sometimes people just put them in the wrong place or maybe they stock them in the wrong place. These are size 8.0s, decent vans here. I don't really know what they're called. What are they? Does it say? I don't know, but they look pretty nice, especially for wearing or something, but size 8.0 in the 10 and a half section. Now check this out pair of Vans half cabs. You do not see these in Ross that often. You know, these really are usually sold at Van stores exclusively or skate shops, 
but they're size 10 and a half. Too big for me, but $37, like that's a, a pretty good bargain there. But when it comes to buying shoes for my activity, my activity is skateboarding, if you don't know, skateboarding requires a very specific type of shoe. The shoe needs to be designed for skateboarding to make skateboarding more effective for you, right? You can skate in many different types of shoes that aren't skateboarding shoes, but it's just better to do so. And so here on the island, there's one specific place where you can get skate shoes for a relatively affordable price. That is Ross. If you don't know, Ross is, what is it, like a TJ Maxx in the States? It's like a Marshall, something like that, where you can find a lot of discounted uh, clothing, discounted house goods and stuff that get shipped in from all over the world. So I wanna go back a little bit, right? Uh, before I came to Guam, I was traveling a lot, traveling full time. I went to the Philippines and in the Philippines, that is where I bought one of my last pairs of actual skate shoes. I bought a pair of DCs because DCs are very popular in the Philippines and they lasted for you know a few months. I really skated the hell out of them and they were pretty much just torn up so I couldn't skate with them anymore. And I threw them out uh, once I was here skating a little bit. So after skating here in Guam for a while, I decided, man, I need to get some more shoes. I went to Ross, I tried to check it out and I could never find the proper pair I needed. All right, let's see if GPO has anything for my size. We'll start at the nines, the eight's too small. Hmm, what do we see here? Oh, look, we got some older vans. Oh, nines, that's my size, 35 bucks. Comfy Kush. Those might be a little small, they look small. Oh yeah, tad bit small, I need a nine and a half. But dang, those would actually be pretty nice for skating. Better than the old schools, so a little bit more cushion. These are the only Nikes I'm seeing, the Nike vertebrae is which they are. And they're $49.99 and their size is actually too big. These are in the wrong spot. These are like, what size is this? Size 13. So sometimes you'll find Nikes like these, but today there's not really anything. No Nikes, just Vans, some Adidas, you know, lots of old school stuff like that. See here, this is like the rarest find you'll find here at Ross. These are Nijas, Nike Nijas. I don't know what model, but $46.99. These shoes run over $100 normally, brand new. I mean, they're brand new here, but you know, they obviously couldn't sell them where they were at, so they sent them me here. But size six, that's tiny. But if you could find the right size of this for your foot, man, you would have a serious deal. See these right here, these are Pop Cushion, Pop Cushion insoles, Vans, Kyle Walkers, actually a really nice shoe. It's got the, the vulcanized waffle cup mix and uh, really comfortable, good on your feet, good protection. But again, size seven and a half, so wrong size and $34.99, a pretty good deal. Now here is also another pretty rare find. These are Lakai's. Lakai's are great skate shoes. They're kind of like Nikes. These are the Lakai Telfords and they're only $22.99. And the size is actually my size, but they're high tops, which I don't normally skate high tops as that limits my ankle mobility. But you know what? These are $22.99. That's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna try them on and see how they fit. So after a while, I decided, you know what? I have some Nikes that aren't skateboarding shoes. They were called the Nike Court Visions, I believe. They're just like regular Nike wearing shoes. I bought them when I was living in Thailand. This was, you know, two years ago or something. I decided well, I'll just try to skate them, see how they, they go because they had a lot of padding and they had a lot of cushion under the sole and they actually worked, but they got really beat up and they weren't really meant for skateboarding, especially because the material wasn't suede. But when it comes to skateboarding, 
the material is very important. So you want to use suede or some sort of canvas, something like that, that can catch the board really well. You don't want to use anything that's hard and plasticky. You don't want to use leather. These just aren't really good for skateboarding. And so also when I was in the Philippines, I bought a pair of Converse, Louis Lopez Converse. And I said, oh, these will be good for skating. But then I didn't realize, oh man, right, leather isn't good for skateboarding. So I didn't even decide to skate them. But going back to the court visions that I had, those had a hard plasticky like surface and they weren't really that great, but they did me some justice for a while. And now I just can't skate them anymore. So I've been in the hunt for something new. So as you can see today, I went to one Ross first. Uh, here on the island, there's three Rosses, I believe. Uh, there's the one in Micronesia Mall, then there's the one in GPO, Guam Premier Outlets, and then there's another one down south in Aganya Shopping Center, I believe, right? So I went to the Micronesia Mall one first as it was closest to me. It's also a little bit smaller than the GPO one, but that one opens up at nine because of the mall time. And there wasn't really anything for my size and what I was looking for, as you can see from the clips that I showed you. And then after that, I decided to go down south a little bit more to the GPO one. The GPO Ross is actually the best one, I think. They have the widest selection, they have the most stuff, they have a lot of room, right? And a lot of the tourists go there, so it's a place that gets picked over very quickly, so you have to time it right. But the one problem too with Ross is that they have a lot of shoes that are just too big for people, or maybe too small for people sometimes. Now maybe the, a lot of the local people here can wear the very small shoes, because they'll have a lot of nice shoes around size 7 or 8 men's but the shelves of size like 11 and 12 they're never empty so i don't think many people are buying those maybe it's just some tourists or some of the tall people that live here but it seems that sizes like 8 to 10 is the most popular of course so those go the fastest and it can be really difficult to find a good pair so after shopping around in ross just now and looking at the shoes very closely and seeing if there was any that i could actually skate and also standing in the line for 30 plus minutes because they never have enough people employed there, I found a pair. As you can see here, these are Lakai's. Now these are called the Lakai Telfords. I just bought them. You can see there's a price tag, $22.99. A super, super affordable pair of Lakai's. Um, I actually haven't skated Lakai's in a very long time. I don't even know if they're really that good for skateboarding because these look different than the ones I used to have. But they're also high tops. Uh, I don't ever skate high tops. The last time I skated high tops were some Nike Blazers, I think, which are really nice. But the thing about Lakai's too that's a little bit difficult for me is they're very pointy shoes. They're kind of like uh, Converse sometimes. Converse can be very pointy. I like a little bit more of a rounded shoe. but. These seem like they'll do pretty well. Um, they have some comfort, you know, and some ankle support, I guess. So we'll see how that goes. But for the price of $22.99, which these are, I think, originally about 90 something dollars, $95 maybe. I said, I can't pass that up. It's worth a shot. It's better than skating skate shoes that, well, shoes that aren't skate shoes, right? And so, as you can see, you can find good deals like this at Ross. Now, there are so many better shoes there that you will find sometimes for skateboarding. Like you can find Ishads and Nijas and um, certain Etnies and you know lots of Vans of course because Vans is the most popular here. There's also a Vans store here. Well, it's not a Vans store, but it's a place called Goodie Sporting Goods. I think Goodies, Goodies, or, or just Goodies. And there they sell lots of Vans and they have all the Vans and there's good ones for skating, but. They're like full price mostly. So you're paying up to like $100 for Vans, right? But GPO is the place to go if you want to get cheaper shoes, especially Vans, if you want them on sale. You just got to get lucky. But as I said, the one caveat to shopping at Ross is always finding the shoe that is your size. Now you may be saying, hey, there's a lot more places you can get shoes, even skate shoes maybe. There are a few more places, like there is Famous Footwear and GPO. They sell skate shoes. It's difficult to find shoes there that are on sale that are good, right? Uh, you can buy some Vans there as well that are skatable and stuff. But again, the price is higher, 60 70 $80, I think. Uh, Ross is definitely the place to go. You get just the best bang for your buck, really. 
but you really have to hunt. You have to go there often. You have to go there first thing in the morning before uh, all the shoes get picked over, you know? And from my experience, going about Wednesday or Thursday, today's actually Thursday, is the best because it seems like they have the most shoes there, right? Recently, I did go to Ross, uh, I think it was about a week ago, and I found a pair of Vans. I don't normally skate Vans because they're not that comfortable for me for skating. Used to when I was real young. I like a little more cushion now, but I found a pair of Vans Wavies, as you can see right here. Uh, they're white and they have like a grayish mesh so that's the different thing about these vans I've never seen is a mesh so it makes it a little bit lighter and a little bit more breathable. These vans are a mixture between the waffle uh, sole which is like that you know iconic sole of vans that looks like a waffle and then the cup sole so it's like a, a, a fusion of those two right it's a mix of those two and it looks like it's more comfortable and more like you can wear it daily. So I bought these thinking oh these are gonna be perfect for skating and then I started wearing them around and I said, you know what? I like these just for wearing. I don't care about the colors sometimes, so I'll skate the shoes that have the weird colors. That way I can just, you know, get rid of them. They're a nice shoe, they're comfortable, but then I don't have to feel bad that, oh man, I ruined these shoes, now I don't have them, right? And so that's why I bought these Vans Wavies or Waves or whatever they're called. And I figured, man, I'm gonna keep these and just wear them because they're nice. Now the same thing happened with a pair of New Balance that I bought, not here on Guam, I bought the New Balance in the States when I was there and these are the Tiago 1010s I believe, right? I got them on sale for like 60 bucks. But originally they're, you know, pricier, 80, 90 dollars or 100 dollars. And then I was wearing these around I was like, oh man, these are ugly. I'm just gonna skate these because they're yellow and blue. But then I got to wearing them and I was like, man, these are some of the most comfy skate shoes I've ever worn. I don't think I can skate these and ruin these. I want to just wear these daily and, you know, I'll make them fit with certain clothing and whatnot. So as you can see, like here at the stores, Ross and stuff, you can find lots of skate shoes, but they might be of certain colorways that you don't like. The sizes might not fit you, or you might just want to wear them and actually not skate them because they look better or they're more comfy. And that's what happened with some of my shoes that I have. So it's very uh, difficult sometimes to find the perfect shoe here for skateboarding. Now you might be saying, oh, don't be cheap, just pay for a pair of shoes, you know, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, I don't mind if I'm just wearing them. If I'm just gonna wear the shoes and not ruin them, sure, I can buy an $80 pair of shoes, no problem. But why spend $80 on a pair of shoes that might only last you, I don't know, four times you go skateboarding or something like that, right? Skateboarding ruins your shoes very quickly, so you have to be very picky about the ones you get and uh, which ones you skate. And that's why I like Ross. And that's why I've been trying to go to Ross as much as I can to get the deals, to find the ones that way I have them because at least there they're discounted and I don't feel as bad for spending, you know, $40 on a pair of shoes that only lasted a month or something. As you guys can see, I'm here at Epal Park. This is actually where I was gonna film the video outside, but the rain just is relentless today. So I decided to film it from in the car, which it is what it is, you know, what can you do sometimes? Everything isn't perfect here, but you gotta make do with what you have. And uh, I'm definitely thankful that Ross is here because it's really providing me the things I need at a discounted price. I guess that's gonna be it for this video here. Uh, just a quick one, uh, hopefully it was quick. All right guys, I'll catch you later, peace.